Okay, in this video we've got two spherical tanks. Not very good spheres, not very good at drawing spheres. And we want to work out the cubic capacity of the sphere on this side in metres and in litres. So I'm going to give it a diameter of 780 millimetres diameter. And our formula to work out the cubic metres uh, is uh, 4 over 3 times r cubed times pi. We work that out, that will give us our metres cubed. Then we could times it by a thousand and that will give us our litres. I'm going to put the litres in here, there's a thousand litres in a cubic metre. So I'm going to say at this point that's the formula to determine the litres. So if we've got 4 over 3 times the radius, so half of 780 divided by 2 equals 390 millimetres. We're going to put it in as uh, metres so that we can automatically convert to litres. So it is 0 0.39 cubed times pi times 1000 equals our litres. So onto the calculator. Calculator on. 4 divided by 3 times 0.39 cubed times pi and then we times it by our 1000 and that gives us 248.47 litres so that is how we can determine the uh, cubic meterage uh, and if we times it by the thousand into the equation, it automatically gives us our litres. So in this spherical tank here, I'm going to say it has a capacity of 9,425 litres. And we want to determine the diameter. So the diameter is missing. Exactly the same formula. So we've got four over 3 times r cubed times pi times 1000 equals 9425. So what we need to do is transpose the formula. We want everything over to uh, one side and we want to get back to r which is the radius. So, what I need to do is get rid of the 3 for a start. It's dividing on this side. When it goes to the other side of the equal sign, it becomes a multiplier. So what we end up with is 9,425 times 3. So that's got rid of that component. Then we want the, uh, if I put brackets around the, this portion, and I'm going to take out the R cubed. So what I'll do is the 4 times the pi times the 1000 is multiplying all on this side. I want to take that as a group where it's multiplying and shift it to the other side. It becomes a divider. So it becomes 4 times pi times 1000. Close the bracket. So at this point we have our 3 equals. Now what we want to do is we want to get uh, rid of the cube, cube root. Or the cube, when it goes to the other side it becomes the cube root. And it has this little 3 here. And at that point, if I can find my rag, I will get rid of the 3. So, on the calculator, we're looking for the cube root. So, it's got a, um, a, square, a square root symbol, and just above that, it's got a 3 in front of the square root symbol. So we're going to push shift 9425 times 3 divided by open bracket 4 times pi times 1000 close the bracket equals and what it's given me is um, 
radius equals 1.3, what does it say, 1, 0 meters. Now that's the radius. So in order to get to the diameter, we have to type that by 2, which gives us 2.620 meters in diameter. So given you both the formulas, or the formula is the same, but we have to transpose it when working back towards the diameter. Whereas we started off with the diameter, we could work out the literage if we put the 1000 on there. If we didn't put the 1000 on there, it was going to give us it as uh, meters cubed. So that's how you resolve for a spherical tank. Thank you.